Hello, Den of Dragons tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Pools of Darkness with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we uh, traveled through a pool of darkness to uh, Thorn's Realm, lost all of our equipment, and have begun re-equipping ourselves with the, the dregs you can find down here. And uh, we found a little hidey hole where we could heal up. Uh, we found a spirit of a Kirin that protected this place, which is nice. So in between episodes, I've rested and restored spells and um, recast our basic buffs, resist fire, cold, protection, and from evil, prayer, that kind of stuff. So that uh, even though we don't have our full set of equipment, we are ready for battle. And we've only got one way to go, so we're going to go that way. Rizal points to the west wall, a hidden door that will lead us to the thorn. The throne, or the thorn. The thorn's throne? An old man crouches in the corner, clutching a sword. He rushes up to you. Are you- th are the dragons dead? Is the Kirin free? The man looks to you with desperate hope. When he finds that dragons are still gathering, he tells you that he was- he has been trapped for weeks, since Thorn captured the Kirin he was serving. He explains how the Kirin moved against the source of the storms, sensing their evil nature only to meet its death. The man shrugs and gives you something. It may help you, me, it... It may help me more if you had these. Tech magic and a helm and a trident, okay. Hey now, we finally have a trident that's worth equipping. Look at that! And it does, like, really good damage against large enemies, so... Bella is gonna be a Dragon Slayer with that, for sure. Now, who gets... The Helm? This is a really good Helm. This is even better than Shinga's Helm of Tear. But, um... I'm thinking Christiana's gonna get it. You know what? It's- they come in a parcel, the two of them together. You're sold as a set. There you go, fella. Tied with Shinga for AC now, at least. Alright, let's keep moving. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Dragons. Just two. I mean, dragons plural is scary, but really, there's just the two of them. I wonder why... Is there something... Like, Rodica's only been getting one attack recently. I don't know what the cause of that is. If she's just missing or something? I don't know. Anyway, I don't think we need to worry too much about this fight. Probably should have tried taking the green dragon out first. Ay ay So it's got a fireball acid breath, apparently. That was insane. Kill! Luckily, the red dragons keep using fire breath on people that are immune to it. So Fella McGubbins absorbed that with his druid spell, Fire Pro Protection from Fire. It didn't say how much damage it used up, but that spell will last until it uses 12 times his level in fire damage. It's pretty good. Oh. Gotta focus down the non-fire dragons first. That's just too much damage. Alright, we'll do a bit of healing up. Try to save a couple reserves for, uh, potentially any boss fight. But maybe the people that aren't in the red will just use critical wounds on. And serious and all that. We use some of our slightly lower charges, lower level charges. But you do want people to be like nearly full health because clearly every now and then an 80 damage Dragon's Breath comes through and uh, well, be a shame, you know, real shame. So let's just do a little bit of topping up healing. 
Haven't had to do this kind of stuff in a while, but, you know, it's fine. It's part of the game. Even Shinga gets a couple heals. Alright, everyone's in pretty good shape, I would say over 100 where possible. Let's just save it again, just in case. New slot, just in case. Rizal tugs at your arm. Treasure is stashed in a vault to the east? Surely there's enough time to retrieve it. Terrible idea. But I love treasure. A Kirin spirit rises before you. Its horn is missing and a wary look is in its eyes. What have you come here for? Duty. Don't ask Rizal, but the rest of us are here to save the realm. Honestly, I don't even think we can bring any money home with us, I feel like. Duty requires you to be honest and selfless. Wait, what? It's... Like, did she mean this path specifically? Because, like, we came to this realm for duty. But... I went right on the east path... Because Rizal said there's treasure over here. So I guess it was greed, but you know what I mean? Like it's the specific versus the general. You know what? Let's... It's fine. Fine. I made a save right before then. Just enjoy the music while we reload. No big deal. That's always gonna happen. I can't skip it. There's no skip intro videos. They didn't add that in. It's quite nice music though. Good old Final Fantasy VII soundtracks. All right, let's get Goldbox Companion back. That'll do. Okay, so. Let's try this again. See, I didn't think I was lying to the spirit, but apparently I was. Wealth! Your wealth is meaningless if the realms are destroyed. Look. Did I need... Whatever. I don't care. It's just never going to be happy with you trying to get money. You hear a deep rumbling voice. To the gate, it is time! I mean, maybe you literally aren't supposed to listen to Rizal there. Maybe listening to Rizal is going to get us all killed. It's a good thing I just happened to save it there, I guess. Also, all this terror is getting annoying. Okay, so red dragons shouldn't be too much trouble. I don't think they can do very much damage with their breath. Yeah, three damage. Yeah. It's not the same as uh, when you've got no protection. <laughs> Bella. Look, I'll show you how it's done. I've got a way worse Thacko than you. Well, fellow's protection from fire apparently wore off. Anyway, <laughs> that wasn't too bad. You better get some amazing treasure for this. Rizal says, this is the room. There's a secret door. Rizal motions you to the south wall. Rizal screams at the door as the floor beneath her collapses. Her screams echo through the cave for a long time. She's not a very good thief, is she? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Rizal. All we get is money? Lame. to see what was in there, but 
It cost our NPC thief her life, and... I don't know, who knows what's gonna happen now that the, uh, the horn has been to tooted three times. It's supposed to mean the end of the realms, right? We have protection from cold. Unless it's worn off, but, you know, we should be fine. Plus, these guys have lower HP. Yeah, that's fine. Oh look, fellow McGubbins, ready for a level up. I see you're scrolling off the screen again. Yes. Yeah, up was the only way to go. Looks like maybe this is the kind of area that's going to get us in a fight. We'll at least put a little bit of magic on. Alright. Dragons have gathered! There's only five of them. Alright, what do we got? Red, 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 all reds. Okay, should be fine. I just ended my turn because I'm a fool. You know, I could use some actual magic. There's no rule that says I have to do this with melee. I just love being able to see the, um... Protection from, or the Resist Fire spell actually doing something. Although it, you know, nearly cost Pixel's life there. Sorry, Pixel. My bad. Still does a lot of damage, doesn't it? pushing my luck. I'm definitely pushing my luck. It's because I let, uh, it's because I just killed uh, our thief. I feel bad. You gotta remember that the red dragons have more HP than your average dragon at this point. Okay, not too bad, but, uh, we did take some damage. Let me just double check if there's any, uh, spells missing. No, Fella still has fire resistance. He's just, uh, well, he doesn't have protection from fire, which is, like, we've got two people with the rings that might nullify fire damage entirely, and he can sort of do that temporarily as well with this special spell. There's a secret. I think this is the only way to go, so... I bet you if you had Rizal, if you hadn't killed her, she would have said, go this way. Dragons have gathered here, preparing for the final blast from the Horn of Doom. The dust raised from their beating wings nearly blinds you. What's more fun this way? Maybe it's harder because we got the treasure. So this is going to be dragons that we're not protected against. Well, two of them. All right, you know what? We're going to want to use a little bit of magic, I think. I've been pushing my luck, trying to fight melee to save charges. Red dragons proved less resistant to fire than they hoped. Goodbye, dragons. Magic is still king. Fireball is still king. Okay. 
Uh, western door? Oh. I'm actually not going to, uh, rest. Because I have to rebuff again, and rebuffing is boring. I do feel bad that Rizal died, but it was her greed that got her killed. I was just following her request. Alerted to your intentions, dragons are waiting for you. Look, we've killed more than enough dragons at this point. I don't like it when they wait for us just out of range like that, though. Um... I could try hold monsters. One of these days it'll work. is pretty good, though. Um... Yeah, that was actually really nice. So... What we can do... Is at least strike one of them down right here. We'll strike the other one down soon enough, don't worry. We'll go... How is HP on this guy? Well, we could try another, um, hold monster. We've got a few of these ready. Oh, very good. Well, that's how you do a fight. I didn't expect that to have any chance at all. That was crazy. Uh, and then we can just finish them off. Easy. Ha! Ah! That's what you get for failing your saving throws, hey? Done. Alright, well that was very cool. Uh-oh. I found Thorn. I was just playing Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. I had no idea which one he was behind. Thorn stands amidst his horde of treasure, about to sound the horn of doom. Thorn lowers the horn of doom and glares at you. Be gone! I have only to sound the horn and the war begins. Or would you rather throw your lives away like that simpering Kirin? Well, I actually don't intend to throw my life away, but, uh, you know, we gotta stop you. Fire belches from Thorn's mouth in a mirthless laugh. Fools, you do not know what you are dealing with. That's the reason I got fire protection. Nor can you imagine the powers massed against your pitiful forces. Alone, I could destroy your world. Now learn the extent of your ignorance. Thorn spreads his mighty wings and springs toward you. Don't be scared, guys. Please, just don't be... Like, honestly... Yeah, that's what I mean. Don't be surprised. Terrified is fine. Alright, we got dragons, we got dragons. We got dragons, dragons, dragons. All over the place, dragons. Thorn is definitely at the first real boss. No doubt about it. He's got armor class better than we do right now. Okay, so how do we deal with this? I could have buffed up better, obviously, and... You know, I've only got what we've got. Um... Well, uh, the sooner we kill the little dragons, the less uh, breathing of fire they're going to be able to do. That's my logic. Reasonably good amount of damage. Now, I think we're going to want to blast our uh, big fireballs early. This will hit four, which seems like a reasonable option. Okay. Um, we could try to interrupt the cast, but it's probably just a normal fireball, which isn't actually going to hurt us that badly. Yeah. I mean, it's annoying. That hurts. The, the annoying part is more that it interrupted all of our ability to cast. At least that one's dead. 
Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Well, we're gonna need to get some early turns on the next round because uh, otherwise <laughs> somebody's gonna die. Uh, why did I do that? I should just stayed away. I, f I panicked. That was good though. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang out over here for a minute. It's cool. Come on, Pixel, don't die. Okay, you've got magic again, so just do it. Alright. We might only be able to hit two. That's fine. But if you could kill these two right now, please. Dang it! Okay. Shinga continues to absorb a lot of potential damage with his uh, ring, of ring of Protection. Um, let's see what the HP are. 61, 47. Probably not going to be able to kill any of them. Alright, I am going to run over and try to heal Rodica. You are saved! Alright, Rodica, you know Cleric. Gotta kill some dragons here. Good. Keep wasting their ta attacks. Now, Pixel really needs to get healed as well. The fella's gonna handle that. Alright. If I die for you, I'm gonna be upset. Getting there though. Not too many left. Do I have any heals left? Nope. I don't have any healing at all left. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, give myself a chance of surviving if I get hit. Uh, but Felic has got me. Felic's got my back. Thanks, Fella. Thanks for going early in the turn. Good initiative roll. I've blinked. <laughs> I can't even get healed. <laughs> That's the ring of blinking. It does get you sometimes. Uh, I guess it's better to at least cast it on yourself. All right, yeah, we are going to have to deal with the boss soon. All right, new round. This time you can heal me before I get a turn. There we go. Oh, Pixel. Dang it. I'm gonna try to save Pixel by killing this dragon quick. Uh how much Pixel can do other than attack here? Dang it! There's nothing I could do. I didn't have any heals. No, I, there there was no options there. I could have tried to run him away, but he would have been back attacked. I don't know if this is going to be worth a whole lot. Ah, you know what? Let's just try flame striking it. Or not, never mind. Dead is dead. Alright, well... It's a tough fight, for sure. I think we're good now. I'm going to try Otto's Irresistible Dance. We'll probably kill it before we get a chance. I can't cast it on you? Is it an adjacent only? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That spell sucks. I thought it was long range. I'm never gonna find out if that spell does anything, am I? 
Anyway, we just killed him normally. Oh, I'm sorry, Pixel. That was tough. You you, you did me well. You, you, you made me proud, though. You held him off for a long time. And you miss out on a little bonus experience. Oh, and we get some music. Thor lies smoldering on the ground, and tucked under his wing is the Horn of Doom. As you pick it up, the spirit of a Kirin appears before you. I am Gaithen, and that is my horn you hold. My spirit has been trapped here since Thorn wrenched it from me. The evil he has done with its magic causes me great pain. He goes on to explain. This is recorded in your book. Unfortunately, Pixel will only ever find out about it through the book. My horn was the focus of a great magical power with which I was entrusted. A power that helped hold evil in check. I came to the Dragonspine Mountain when I sensed the evil growing here, only to find myself too weak to counter it. When Thorn took my horn, he took the magic as well and used it to turn the skies chaotic. Those storms will no longer plague the realms. But my horn was just one of the three powers working evil in the realms. If the realms are to be saved, you must turn those powers against the one enemy. Okay. The Horn of Doom, as it is now called, will enable you to pass the Iron Wall if you blow it once for each of your party. I thought three was signaling the end of times. Anyway. Near the black wall, Thorn's horde glitters wondrously in the torchlight. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Let's uh, test out whether or not Resurrection does what I think it does. Here you go, Pixel. Fancy Resurrection. And definitely no constitution loss. Okay, so once you hit Cleric level 14, as long as you actually memorize the right spell, you can get through battles with deaths and not need to worry about cheating or reloading the game to avoid the constitution. That's better. I feel more... I feel like it's better this way, like I'm not cheating. So we should just stop learning, we should stop memorizing Ray's Dead entirely and just make sure we've always got one or two resurrections ready. Yeah. Alright, good stuff. I wish you could cast them in battle, but that's fine. This way, Pixel gets some experience. Although it's... I mean, it's just money. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Alright, well, we found Korn's Horde. That was a pretty good fight. I mean, um... I don't know what we could have done better. Uh, I think everyone had Resist Fire on, and... I mean, if they targeted the wrong person... We had two people that were immune to fire. Bella was nearly immune to fire, so there's only three characters they could really beat up on. I tried to keep healing them up, but, uh, you know, the, the turn order is what it is. Sometimes you can't do what you want. And I guess that's it. We're probably done for here. Everyone's flying off the screen. This was one of the rest rooms, I think, or maybe this was it. You know, there is, like, a wall that we couldn't get through. You know what I should do? Um, let's just pull up the guidebook for this one. Um, let's see. F2? So, this is our clue book. Um, yeah, Thorn's Cave was next. So, we can see if we missed anything. Not that I'm sure we could bring anything home with us, but I might as well see. Yeah, so these areas actually were just... There's nothing in them, so... No point. Um... Oh, it's best to wait until Thorn has been defeated before you go to the th treasure hordes. The more treasure you get, the more dragons gathered. So we may have done the more difficult route. Let's see, um... I did get that one. Let me just compare it to my map, so... Let's see, where, where am I missing? Section... To eight. I guess I probably went everywhere. Just looking at the map, right? Um. 
We did. We found one shield. Do we have a shield? I feel like I may not have gotten a shield. No, we, we had a silver shield. It's not just a normal shield. The game didn't even understand. Better than the guidebook. It's cool. Um, so that's a big treasure. Treasure hoard. I did get the fancy trident. I wish we could bring that helmet with us. It's really good. Red and blue dragons, red and green dragons. Looks like I probably just did everything. That's cool. It doesn't say, so six, I guess, I guess maybe the thing is if you go to both of the number sixes, both of the treasure hordes, Ryzel dies. Maybe if you didn't go to them early, um, she wouldn't die. I, I don't know. Anyway. What's done is done. Let's get out of here. Uh, you gotta go this way. Just following my map to make this quicker. Uh, we need to go... Actually, that's the wrong way. That was a treasure route. be the way out. I guess these were all just empty cell rooms, right? Like, we still freed a bunch of humans, so that's good for us. Now, um, they did say something, right? Like, there's something about sounding the horn six times to go past, or once per character, to go past uh, some sort of iron wall. I assume that's going to be related to the end game, to get to the, like, final, final dungeon. You'll need, like, all four treasures from the four of uh, Bane's lieutenants to, to get to some final tower or something, right? Goodbye, magic. Traveling back through the gate, you arrive at Elminster's camp in limbo. Elminster's notices your arrival and approaches. When Elminster sees what you have brought with you, a grin of triumph crosses his face. The Horn of Doom! Well done, he continues. And he tells us a big long story. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Journal 47. I offer my congratulations for thy victory over Thorn. With the Horn of Doom safely out of Bane's grasp, the storms will cease over Moonsea. Previously, these tempests have prevented our allies past the mountains from entering these lands. Even now, an army marches from Tilverton and ships raise sail in Tantra Tantris. Both forces are far, but at least now they may draw closer. Aid is coming. Okay. Um, so now we can train again properly. Uh, we might as well just move on, though. I'll tr I'll do my gold box companion training now that we're done. Well, I say that. We need to get all of our gear back. How do I get my gear back? I don't have any option to look at my gear. I mean, it's time to go back to the realms. Ye, of course, realize that any items from the outer dimension will be destroyed. Oh. So we're still in... Right, right. We still have our gear that we brought, that we found in Thorn's realm. Right, right, right. Fine. Elminster guides you back to where he has stored your weapons. So theoretically, right there, before we traveled back, I could have removed a character, put, like, the helm plus four, uh, anything extra that we wanted to keep, basically, in sort of non-character member or area, traveled back, and then re-added them to the party, basically. Uh, and I definitely want to pick up what we've lost. So just for interest, we didn't we didn't lose anything, right? So we have now a spare ring of fire resistance. That's basically all we were able to pick up in that dungeon. Oh, and a non-magical sword. <laughs> and non-magical ring mail that we need to drop. 
can't really drop it here. Well, you know, for the next one, because you know there's going to be more, um, I guess it's not a horrible idea to leave uh, a spare un 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 unenchanted weapon here, because we can pull it out before the next one. But, yeah, that's all we get to keep. Alright, so... I guess... Man, that's a lot of loot. Um, money, platinum. Oh no, no, not deposit. Can we pool? No, pool just puts it all away. So I have to take the money out individually. I have to take the items out individually. Oh, it's gonna take a while. All right, so I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna off camera resort all of my gear and money, and then next episode. Um, I'll probably just be at the world map. Unless something happens in between and I have to start up early to tell you about some story. But I assume once we're done here, he just pops us right back out on the world map near uh, the Dragon's Airy. So, that's where I will meet you guys for the next episode. <sighs> I didn't mind... I didn't mind doing a, a map with gear you pick up as you go. It's a kind of weird way of balancing, but it's okay. Um, what I don't like is now having to redo all this inventory management. That's gonna suck. So anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more Pools of Darkness.